Hi, my name is Jorge Ilcate and I will show you how to create an NFS instance uh, in the cloud with the Amazon uh, background and chef. Okay, this will help us to share large files between uh, Amazon instances. Okay, the first step, uh, we will see what the repository contains. Okay, when you fork the repository, you will see um, two principal directories, one for boxes, for background boxes, and another one for uh, chef repository. Okay, we will see one for, uh, in the background boxes, we will have one for uh, Amazon and one for local instance. So you will test um, the procedure locally or in the cloud. The principal file in each box uh, directory is the background file uh, where you will find uh, all the configuration. The next step now is uh, getting the Amazon credentials. Okay, so you will create uh, instances in your account. So you have to go to Amazon website, enter to the portal and sign in with your account and you will have to go to um, security credentials so there you will find uh, the option uh, to get the, um, the keys to access uh, your account so in my case I will go to to create um, an access key okay you have to make a click and create new access key this will create a key for all the Amazon instances you can create a key for your account. Uh, the next step is uh, copy um, these credentials in this in this file. So you will have an access key, a secret access key, and you have to copy also the location where you uh, store your um, key pair uh, file. Load your chef cookbooks. Okay, in the chef repository you will have cookbooks that store recipes. These recipes will install the necessary uh, software for create an NFS server, an NFS uh, client. Okay, and then you have roles when you define uh, which recipes you will call. Okay, in this case we will have an NFS server where you define the ports that you will use for your NFS services, the package that you will install and the directory that you will share. So this is very important to, to define. And then we will have the NFS client where we have the remote directory, the server host where is the, the NFS server, and the local directory that, directory that will map that uh, directory into our instances. Okay, now we will copy this uh, directory in our uh, personal chef repository. So we will copy this to directories and we will go to um, in my case this is my personal uh, chef repository okay and I will copy uh, well in my chef repository you will have that, that um, files that enable you to connect to your account and well you will um, copy that files and you need to use the the knife uh, utility to upload this uh, these files to your account so i will show you how to how to do this you have to go to your repository to chef repository and uh, execute this um, commands knife upload and i will occurred to uh, upload in this case you will see how to uh, each artifact that will uh, be uploaded Okay, perfect. We now can go to our uh, chef repository in the cloud, our chef server, to see uh, if everything is okay. Okay, you have to sign in, and in this case, you will go to uh, you have to check your organization. And in this case, so let me delete these instances that are created from previous tests. Uh, okay, you have to go to Plicy where you will find the cookbooks that you have had loaded and also the roles that you have created. So you have the, a role for NFS client and NFS server in the cloud. You 
how to update and run a background configuration. So I will show you how to customize uh, the background files. Okay. Now we will go to the background file. Okay. Uh, I will show you what are the most important parameters in this case if you want to run an uh, Amazon instance and you have this these uh, parameters one of them is the M and I the image that you would use to create a background box in the cloud so to search an, an Amazon instance you can use this uh, procedure you can go to instance make a like if you will go create an instance in the cloud and find a community image that you can use uh, for your new environment Okay, in this case, I would uh, I find I found uh, an Ubuntu image. Okay, you have to be careful of of your zone, the region that you will use. In this case, uh, US East, and also that the size or the type of your instance. So this will uh, depend how much resource you will instance will have. Uh, also, you have to care about the the storage. In this case, I will have uh, sixty. Uh, gigabytes okay you can increase that also I will install the last version of chef in the cloud and I will increase the swap size okay finally I will uh, use this configuration to provide software in this case I will use the add role the to run the NFS server role you have to uh, copy the path where you have all your keys, your chef keys. Okay. Finally, uh, we will run the background file to show you how to, how, how this works. Okay, you have to go to, to your project, go to the Amazon uh, boxes, Amazon uh, NFS machine. Okay, and start uh, the configuration with background app sending the provider to Amazon Web Service. Okay, we have to wait a, a little bit to start. Okay, now you can see that it's using the Amazon Web Service provider and setting the Amazon Web Service parameters. And uh, we are waiting to the instance to be started. So can, we can go to the to our Amazon console to to see if the instance is up and running. Okay. Once it started, uh, we can check it. The, the instance is, is running and we will continue with the configuration. Okay, the next step is to install the chef uh, client on this instance. See that it's using the, la the latest version. Okay, and it's using the Omnibus uh, installer. Then uh, we will run the shell script when we, we will use the, we will increase the swap size. Okay, we have to wait a little bit. Uh, okay, and after the finish the increasing the swap size, uh, Let's start running the, the chef provisioning. Okay, in this case we can see the the size of the of the instance and the storage and the swap the swap size that is increased. Okay, we will have, we have incre increased the swap size to 2 gigabytes. Okay, and now we can see that um, the chef uh, client is, is running. It's creating a node in the chef server. Okay, and it's, inst and it's uh, successful install all this, the services. Okay, we can see this uh, from the last message. And it takes uh, 11 seconds to complete the configuration. Okay, uh, the next step is to create another machine, another 
uh, Amazon instance to validate that the NFS service uh, is running and I can use it uh, in the future. Okay, to do this, uh, I will use the NFS uh, client uh, role from Chef. We need to update the the host to to point to the new server. Okay, and now uh, we can make. Uh, I already start the machine, and now I will uh, make the provisioning. Okay, with background provisioning. I don't need to start the, the machine, I only uh, do the provisioning part. In this case, uh, the swap files is already created, and we uh, create a new NFS client. Okay, it takes also 11 or 12 minute, uh, seconds. Sorry, and um, we can connect it to, to the client using a uh, background SSH and also. Uh, we will connect to the NFS server to see uh, if everything is working uh, right. Okay, it takes uh, a little bit to to connect to the cloud to the server, and we now have the NFS instance and uh, other instance both in Amazon Web Service. Okay, we will create a file. Okay, with sudo touch uh, something uh, txt, a text file, and we will uh, check if from other distance I can see it, everything is okay, and now we will have uh, an FS server up and running.